Hello and welcome to Fail Race Makes a Traffic Jam. Yes, we have, might have made a little bit of chaos for Australia because you see all of this selection of AI cars. Oh, they're inching forwards. Oh, we're going to have no. No, we're not going to have any, any real movement. All of this chaos has been brought because we have parked some Hondas in a parking space. Yes, we are going to go racing with the Honda S800 that is so tiny, it admittedly these are very, very large spaces, but it can be parked, um, yeah, inside the fact we have plenty of space inside the inside these bays, however the AI can't deal with them. Um, yeah, we have got not a huge amount of power, uh, but an awful, awful lot of revs to play around with. And as we've seen time and time again, low power, relatively slow car, in fact, quite slow cars. Oh, and now it started raining, and none of us have a roof. Uh, make for exciting racing, so that is what we are going to do. We've also managed to get one breaking physics in the middle, because it's fail race, of course, something is breaking physics. Right, let's get out of here. Then we will go. We shall release the horde of AI cars, I suspect. Uh, finally, they've been trapped there for about 20 minutes. Well, <laughs> setting up. We are going to... We're starting off in Surface Paradise. Tend not to do too much out here. The street circuits don't lend themselves great to uh, close racing. Kind of just becomes a cluster and a big crash. So normal high-powered cars doesn't quite work so much. However, with these little Hondas, I suspect... It will be a lot of fun. Ah, it's, it, the race is already set as rain, so we're going to stick with a very, very soggy race in the Hunters. Right, here we are. Uh, almost ready to go at the North City Circuit. Our Hondas are stock with the exception of the diff. We put the race diffs in these because the standard one is pretty damn awful. So with a race diff in the car they're a little bit more fun to go driving. There is going to be a lot of noise, an awful lot of noise, an awful lot of revs and not a huge amount of movement. Admittedly the <laughs> lack of power is made up for to some extent with well no no car, no weight in the vehicle whatsoever. Uh, a surprisingly large amount of understeer through turn one though. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. I was expecting, considering we're going about four miles an hour, it, oh, it, uh, there's a little bit of a bump. We're going to visit a telephone pole. We're good. Oh, we're not good. Ah, somebody is throwing debris at me again. Thankfully it wasn't the full-on lamppost this time. It was just, no, that's not, that's not a gear that we want to be in. That's not a good, that's not a good gear. <laughs> the Honda. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, we're going to be flat out through here. Uh, no, no, we're not quite. I was expecting a little bit more in the way of grip. Uh, track scenery and all of that stuff is um, something to be avoided at all costs, really, with these cars. We have seen it with some of the street circuit. I think we raced the Utes around. Uh, not this circuit, it's a slightly different street circuit. We raced the, uh, the V8 Utes around. And you have to be so careful with... Crash oh, crap, let me change down the gear there by accident. Um, yeah, like crashing into a bench or a bin or something lost you a fair bit of momentum and with these cars because there's well not a huge amount of momentum to begin with when you do that for example you say <laughs> lose a place or two places they're using the footpath i call shenanigans uh, okay well we'll give them space over there it's been an eventful opening lap for me we've not had the greatest of greatest of times turn two sort of caused us some trouble so if we can not get into trouble around turn two this this lap around that would be that would be good oh no, it's not going to be flat out. It's not going to... There's so much body roll. It's <laughs> what it is. There is just miles and miles of body roll. And then we kind of turn into a corner. Once you've got used to it, it is... Um, yeah, it's okay to drive. I was not quite expecting that. I, I don't quite know what I was expecting, but I wasn't quite prepared for the amount of body roll. I mean, we saw the um, ride height when I had one on rally suspension with the... <laughs> With the hill climb monsters, it was quite entertaining. Uh, but with its standard suspension, it doesn't look as wallowy as it actually uh, turns out. It is. There's a very sideways car ahead of me. Oh, we've missed the corner there completely. We're going to get passed by oh, one. I think I got that. Please tell me we got that. Otherwise, we're okay. We have got that one. <laughs> we have got that one. It is a really rather impressive engine that uh, is going on in this car. Just 800cc in this vehicle, but it revs to 10,000 RPM. Certainly very, very close to 10,000 RPM. Here we go. How late? Not quite. Not quite, but it's a huge amount, a huge amount of revs 
going on in this vehicle. I think we're going to be uh, fighting for fourth place. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do anything about the cars further up. The leader managed to avoid all of our mayhem at the start, which is, is always helpful if you could avoid the fail race mayhem uh, that begins, that, or traditionally begins a race. Not all races, but uh, <laughs> traditionally does. Uh, even in these wet conditions, there's not really enough power for these cars to want to be sliding around. I mean, this is about the worst weather conditions you can get. It's only in the mainland in Horizon. We will get to snow later. Uh, for now, we will have to be doing with some uh, exciting wet weather. <laughs> We're playing it really risky with some of the houses now. We're determined to try and uh, fight for this podium. Oh, come on. There's a... There's a turning somewhere in all of that car. There, there, there will be some. Oh, we're going for all of the, all of the cheeky shortcuts right now. Uh, there is some grip somewhere in this wallowy, wallowy boat of a car. One more lap. One more lap to go. Now we are liking this dive to the inside line there. Oh, there's been a mistake from a car up ahead. Oh, we're gonna get two cars in one go, are we? Can we out drag? Yeah, I think we can. I think we might get him into turn one if we can hold if we can hold him off for the rest of this lap. That might be a bit of a that might be a bit of a tall order. We shall have to see how it uh, how it goes. We just drop it down into third around here. I don't really want to go out wide and play in the wall. It's uh, not a not a particularly fun. It's I'm really surprised how early you have to get on the brakes in this car. I, I know it's a, a relatively old vehicle and hasn't got the most up to date of brakes, but it does weigh nothing. Nothing at all. I think it's 1,500 pounds, if that, even. So, <laughs> there is not a lot of car to uh, be slowed down here. I'm going to have to yield, otherwise we're going to end up in trouble. Second place is visiting some more scenery. I can't capitalise on it, because I got bopped out of the way. Well, I say bopped out of the way. I got uh, a tad, a tad squeezed. But we can be try and be neat through here, in which we will be. Oh, signs of being a throw -in. There's a big oversteery moment from the cars ahead. Oh, there's some sliding. We're going to get up the inside of one, maybe even up the inside of two here. Yep, we are. We're going to make sure that we get across for that checkpoint, though. And that might... <laughs> he kind of uh, escorted me to uh, a tight line into that final corner. We did still get the checkpoint, and it will be will be a third place. We were some seven seconds, eight seconds down the road from the leader because we were too busy having fun in all of that one. That was a fantastic almost double overtake on the final. The final corner as a car <laughs> finishes backwards. Well, it took a little bit. Took a little bit. It's a bit of a scrappy start, I think, to uh, this one. I think everyone was expecting more grip and a little bit better brakes. However, once we got the hang of it, then the uh, exciting racing begun with our noisy little Hondas. So, our second race, we are going to the East Suburb Circuit. Quite a fast track, if I remember this one. I think I remember this. <laughs> this circuit. I seem to remember missing checkpoints around here last time I drove this one, so fingers crossed we don't repeat that. If we were missing checkpoints with, well, to be fair, you're probably trying to be too greedy. If you're missing checkpoints with a Honda S800, it's, uh, <laughs> it, would be fair, it would be quite easy when, when everyone's driving identical cars, it's easy to try and get uh, a little ambitious, shall we say, with your, <laughs> with your cornering where you're trying to make up those little bits of time. And that's probably how you would end up doing silly stuff with the cars. Let's see if we can all not bounce off the first wall that we come to. See if we can have a better a better start to the race. Oh, there is all sorts of cutbacks and crisscrosses going on. We got I'm in NASCAR mode. No, bump drafting doesn't work in little Hondas. Bump drafting does not work in <laughs> little Hondas at 60 miles an hour. It is not a thing that can happen. With three wide, I'm on the bottom and I'm almost in a tree. I'm having to fight my corner now. This is not concerns you have with NASCAR. You don't have to fight against people so you don't end up in a tree. We are going to end up in a wall. We're all going to end up in a wall. That is something that happens in NASCAR. Happens in NASCAR quite a lot, especially when you're the one on the outside. Anyway, we've been shuffled all the way back to last. It's not been a good start. It was looking so promising and then it wasn't looking very promising all at once. And now there's, now there's some touring car contact going on. <laughs> Us. This is a good motorsport though. This race has gone well. It's not gone well for us, but we are still within a within a shout, I think, of getting back up through the field. There is a little bit of a rally cross going on ahead of us. That was the opening lap. 
I quite like this. I quite like this track in slower cars. In faster cars, it gets a little bit um, hectic. You also spend a lot of time in the air, if I uh, remember rightly. But when you're doing 85 miles an hour, you don't have to worry about that. There's no air time across that uh, <laughs> particular corner. It's three wide up ahead. You see, we're going to go on the brakes a little bit earlier. And we're going to try and dive to the inside. Look at all of these positions you can make up in one corner. We've gone from last to third. <laughs> Me and the black and white car have learned. We have learned from everyone's previous mistakes. And uh, look at that. For That was a fantastic, fantastic... I guess it was sort of turn two, turn three. Can we learn from our last lap mistakes around here as well? Yes, we can, although it's too wide. In, I would say it's a scary sight in the rearview mirror. These cars are too small for it to be a scary sight in the rearview mirror, let's be honest. Uh, I think there's a few cars going too wide behind us. We're going to go for the inside. Oh, it's all a little bit... Um, uh, it's all a little bit hip and shoulder going on at this moment in time, but that's fine. That's fine. No real harm is being done to uh, any Honda. I've got, <laughs> I've got a car connected on my rear bumper, and I can't turn, and he can't turn away. Thankfully, I think he slowed down. And to be fair, we were. It's a fairly flat out corner anyway. There, uh, the leader is starting to escape slightly. Uh, however, the rest of us are all going three wide through turn one. Not quite. The red car are thinking better of it, and I've got to be careful because I don't want somebody going for a big dive bomb. It's tempting. It's tempting when you're only going 80 miles an hour to try and push it under brakes. In fact, a lot of cars have pushed it under brakes through, <laughs> through that corner. I was content to play it a bit safe. Uh, I'm not sure. Eh, it wasn't really quick enough, unfortunately. Uh, I can now see I can see eyes in the rearview mirror. That, that makes these cars a little bit more scary. I will be honest. That does make them a little bit more scary. Uh, oh, we're going to put a wheel on the dirt. It's not quite going to work. Oh, we're going not quite. We're not going three wide. I do need to... No, I need to actually be there. I do need to make that checkpoint. You could go in the wall. <laughs> I do I do need some space to try. I know these cars are small and everything, but I do actually need to be able to get to the checkpoint. I do fear we might have two cars on the inside. We're going to go quite late uh, on the brakes there. I know we're going to run wide on the exit. It might not be the fastest line. However, they got busy fighting themselves, so that does kind of work out okay for me. That's an end of lap three. Yeah, this has been hectic. This, these are the sort of racing that uh, that I was hoping for. I think race one, uh, a bit more adjustment period to these cars than was expected. However, now we are back to the classic low-powered throw a car about and uh, everyone go side by side sort of racing that uh, that you were that we were wanting, that you were hoping for, and all of that. It's, that's much better through. That corner, that's more like it. We are going to look for a way to get second. I don't know where we're going to get a pass. Probably the final corner might be, but unless there is a big mistake, the final corner is probably going to be the best place. Or maybe here, in fact, if we can get, we can, we can return the exact same move that he did on us a, a lap previous. Uh, we will get the move done, only I will be a little bit more generous and give some space on the inside. I won't receive space on the outside so much. Uh, <laughs> well then, we know what we're going to do in the final corner. I don't think we're quite going to be quick enough though, are we? Uh, I don't know. We might, if we can get a good run out of here. No, the car behind is very, very fast. It is up in the, uh, up in the wall. I don't think they uh, <laughs> went on the brakes at all through there. You might be able to get away with it, to be honest, if you get it right. That was, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was more like it. That was more like it indeed with the Honda. I don't think I actually got a clean lap in any of it, but uh, not the greatest of lap times from me here. But it's a fantastic race, and I will take, I will take another podium. Up next, we have decided to take our little Hondas to Blizzard Mountain. They are fitted with snow tyres and still with the race diff. Everything else on them is completely standard. The bumps up to C class just with the <laughs> with the tyres. Standard width, diddy uh, tyres going on this uh, this car. But uh, there we go. I've got remarkably consistent starting spots in these in these races so far. I imagine it ought to be really really bloody chilly uh, racing these. Oh, there's. <laughs> Someone was greedier than I across that uh, across that checkpoint. How high do we... Um, we got some airtime. We got some airtime in an 800cc car. Uh, oh, there's a lot more speed. Could be taken around there, although you have to be careful not to go in the wall. Oh, we're going to take an alternate line. Oh, 
just about made it through there. We might end up in the hot springs. To be fair, that'd probably be about the most comfortable place on this track to be, in, inside the hot springs. But uh, maybe not in terms of a racing situation. There's a, <laughs> a couple of cars up ahead have got, oh, I don't think third gear. Uh, I should have changed out a second a lot sooner. I wasn't quite sure on that one. Oh, no, 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 we're not making that turn. We're just going, kind of exploring to the outside. We are going to lose, we're going to kind of lose a place briefly and then maybe, oh god, come on car. Come on car, you can find some speed, some grip. We are at uh, giddy heights of 60 miles an hour. Right about, <laughs> right about now. Um, yeah, I think we might be struggling. We've lost touch a little bit with the lead group, although we are going to be flat out through here. I mean, if we can keep up our podium streak, I'd be relatively pleased with uh, with that one. These do feel even more sluggish now that we are out in the snow. They do not feel uh, particularly fast here. Nevertheless, I'm going to do what I can. Oh around these corners. We'll try and not get lost too much. There's the horrible ice patch. I haven't missed having to navigate that horrible ice patch with the uh, hill climb series now. It's much, much nicer, the <laughs> hill climb, as we... I mean, this kind of uses half of the... I say half, it uses a couple of corners of the uh, the old rally car build series. I, I do like this track overall. It's quite a mean circuit. It's one of the more technically demanding of the oh, kind of circuits. Um, lap circuits, there we go. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of Englishing at the moment. But, uh, yeah, it's quite uh, quite technical in a few places with very, very tight hairpins. Blizzard Mountain in general, pretty good in terms of uh, rallying. Oh, we've got some achievables. Oh, there's a nice patch there. Perform 20 air skills. Cool. We've done a thing. That is good. Sure. Um, we've got in all sorts of bother, though. <laughs> That ice is mean. It is mean to my poor little Honda. And we are... Oh, no, we've done exactly the same mistake we did last time of not changing it down into a uh, second when we should have done. We're going to... First, yes, first out of that corner. And the car that dove to the inside either left it in the wrong gear or was on such a tight line they couldn't do anything. Uh, in fact, they vanished. Ah, they may have missed a checkpoint. May have dove to the inside a little bit too much and uh, managed to miss that one. Well, we are some seven seconds down on the leaders. Well, the leaders are having a good battle. Third and fourth are having a good battle, and I'm in no man's land ever so slightly. Hopefully we can change that. What we really need is third and fourth to start fighting one another. That can then bring me into the fray. I mean, if the leaders could start fighting one another, then that would be great as well. But it uh, looks like the gap is opening up a little bit uh, there. Come on, we, 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 want to, we want to keep our podium streak alive. Uh, we're buzzing the limiter a lot over there. Oh, <laughs> I saw that skidding, skating its way across the ice. Just about hit that chair. That was about as close as you want to uh, risk it. Uh, you, you want to be getting as close to the checkpoints as you can. As we've said before, time and time again with these slower, lower class cars, momentum is key. And if you can cut that little bit more to the inside of a corner somewhere, if you can take that little bit tighter line, get that bit more speed out of it, it will make a big difference in a car like these. However you run a big risk, there is always, always, always that risk of uh, cutting the corner, of uh, missing the flag. And it's even more embarrassing when you do it in a car like this one. Or oh, there's some, some ice skating going on from the vehicles ahead. We're so tantalizingly close to uh, being in this battle. In fact, I've got a really good run. I'm normally awful at the Hot Springs corner, but uh, we have got a really good run this time around. We're going to leave it in second. It can buzz the limiter. I know it doesn't want to be in third on its way up there. Uh, we're going to... Oh, we're going <laughs> to... We were, we were lent on, I think, is the polite way of putting that. We are going to get a better run out of the corner, though, and uh, we shall bear that in mind if uh, we get to a next corner and we need a post. Uh, to uh, help us around. That'll be fourth place. Unfortunately, we've both lost time to third. Seconds dropped back a little bit from the leader, to be fair, so have we. He is absolutely flying around here. Come on, come on, I want to get... Uh, that's not a good... That wasn't a good call. I had to try... I wanted to try something. It didn't work, though. There was... Uh, I think the car actually behind had to check up uh, through there. 
Uh, it's not worked. It's not worked at all here. Oh, no. We're going to run wide. We're going to give them space on the inside if they want it, which they will. But they are going to be stuck on the outside for the uh, next corner. I've got to make it across to this... Uh, <laughs> Hey, do, the, do the checkpoint at some point. I do need to be able to get it. Oh, I was trying to go for a cutback. Couldn't quite, uh, or didn't quite wait long enough. I thought it was going to come firing up the inside a little bit more. It uh, did not happen. Well, I think third is going to be a little too far away. It's a good battle for fourth, this. It's a good battle for fourth. We've got a little bit more spread out in this race than I was uh, perhaps expecting slash hoping. We've gone for the uh, slow into turn one for or turn one, two, three section and uh, fast out of it, rather than fast in approach that the car ahead took. It's, it's kind of worked out relatively well. We are all... <laughs> There's a little bit of running. I'm not going to get across. You could, you could fight the ice, and you're going to do exactly the same to me through the next part. It's fine. I think it's, it's, all, it's all even there. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that one. That's not worked. That's not worked as well, this lap around. We've lost. Yeah, it's so important. That corner. Well, I haven't done that. Don't want third. Getting a good run through that corner is so very, very, very important. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a little handbrake. That works better around that hairpin slightly. To be fair, I think I just chucked the car in and that's the way to go at, uh, at the hairpin. Yeah, this has got really spread out. I'm very surprised. I mean, it's it's a bit more of a, as I said, it's a bit more of a technical circuit, this one, but literally me in fourth place are the only cars that are remotely close to each other around this lap, which is surprising. It's, uh, I'm glad that it's me having an exciting race and not toodling around on my own because that makes for a boring video, but uh, <laughs> yeah. well, I guess we, we, learn, we learn something every day with these. Am I going to be able to find a way past in these final few quarters? I don't know. We are on the outside for this. I want to try and get a cut back. I've not, I've not timed it right. I say I've not timed it right. I was expecting to need to break a little bit more than I, uh, than I actually, actually did. Unless someone up ahead has a big misfortune, I don't think there is much that uh, I can do. I am traditionally pretty damn good out of this kind of final corner, but there's not enough run towards the finish line for me to make the most of it. They're going to have to settle for a fifth place. And at least in the uh, comfort of the knowledge that we were by far the most interesting battle in the entirety of the field, which is always, <laughs> always, always good. Yeah, I'm... I'm surprised that they didn't work quite so well at, uh, at that circuit. Of course, for our final race, we have come to the greatest track in Horizon 3, the uh, Snow Park Cross Country Circuit. I am uh, down the back of a field. I have not had great, I've not had awful grid spots, but I've not had particularly great ones in all of this. There is a small concern about these cars and the jumps. I think they will be quick enough? Uh, just. It will be. We've got V8 supercars around with no snow tyres. Oh, that's bouncy. That's really bouncy uh, around there. Uh, oh, that's a clonk and a half. That's, uh, fingers crossed. They will be fast enough to uh, get across the jumps comfortably. We can carry a lot more speed there. That much is for sure. Now, this track has never failed to provide an exciting exciting race so uh, long may that continue as we weave our way in between these opening gates i'm gonna move my way oh god we're having to fight our corner <laughs> i don't think the green car knew we had dove to the inside this is the um i say the dodgy jump this is gonna be the tougher one now we are clearing it it's not by a mile oh there's some lag going on there as well that probably won't help matters when you uh, when you have that we are going to be able to make it across the jumps though that's the um, important thing. Right, as we leave this final hairpin, we find ourselves again in the uh, midfield up in fifth place. Would like to be able to make my way uh, forward through the field. This is probably one of my strongest tracks on uh, on Blizzard Mountain. Oh, no, that's not, it's not quite, I might now work for second. It's, yeah, not quite, not quite sure on the gears. Uh, very much kind of sat in the middle a lot of times around this circuit. So we're either going to buzz an awful lot, or we're going to not have a huge amount of go. I mean, we're going to have a huge amount of go at the best of times, but uh, yeah, that's slightly less than ideal. Right, you guys continue to fight two wide and three wide. That, that's even better if you can fight three wide. That's great. And then we will soar through the air and try and join in the fun. Maybe we can have like a five-way battle for the lead. That would be a fantastic way to end. Be a fantastic way to end 
with these uh, little 800cc cars. Again, leave that hairpin. You get a lovely slingshot out of that uh, that corner. I've gone for a little bit shorter races as these cars aren't particularly fast. I mean, this is almost a minute a lap around this track. That's practically unheard of at the uh, snow park here. We're going to have a change of leader by the looks of things. Although, again, the more they can continue to fight, the better off it is for us uh, behind that. I've got a relatively big gap to uh, the next car. I say relatively big, a couple of seconds. But uh, when you're all... Oh, God. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Sorry, I want to make sure that I... <laughs> want to be able to get the bloody checkpoint. Uh, we've <laughs> we got a mega run, but uh, could not make the most of it. And I'm all not very quick across there at all. That's cost me the nice little margin we had to the cars behind. Definitely cost us any chance of a victory. What can we do into the final quarter? Again, it's using that slingshot through the banking. There is a bit of laggy ghost carness going on up ahead. It's now a four-car battle for the remaining podium. I can't really see much. It's just constant snow going on. The ghost car does help with the uh, with the visibility, Malarkey, that one. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. And I've got a car. Uh, now it's my turn to push a car towards missing a checkpoint. It is is, is very, very easily done out here in the, uh, out in the snow park, especially when you've got... Oh, three cars ahead of you to be fighting against. Oh, someone's gone all sorts of explore. Oh, there's some lag going on. I think they might have got lag cannoned off. The car ahead of me was playing that even riskier than I've been with the... <laughs> that was very close to uh, missing that one. Well, it's now become the fight, the second place. We almost landed on the back of the white car there. Can I throw it up? I'm not going to be able to throw it up the inside, I don't think, here. We might have to get... I can't. There's just nothing I can do here. We can get, the, we can get a mega run out of the final corner, but it's going to be for nothing. We're going to have to settle for a, uh, <laughs> a, a hard fought for fourth place. I just couldn't make any, couldn't make any progress. Uh, unfortunately, poor Carl, it uh, got fired. I don't quite know if he got lag fired out. I, I would assume, seeing as he was jumping around, end up dropping all the way down to eight with uh, that final lap kerfuffle. Yeah, these are interesting cars. They're... I think a little bit on the boaty wobbly side. Now, not quite as close a racing as I had expected. I've been, I was lucky in that I ended up in battles for most of these races, but uh, elsewhere, it was not quite as close a field as I was expecting. That is sometimes how it goes with these. I had a lot of fun racing the <laughs> racing the little Honda, but uh, yeah, I think perhaps the handling is just a little bit too wallowy. To finish, before we head off, I believe I got some wheel spins from a Forza Thorn. Forza Thorn, there we go, thing that is going on at the moment. So we'll just go through these, just in case we get something. Oh, we've got a car. That is a good, that is a good plus point. We've actually got a, <laughs> got a car. If we could get a Horizon Edition, it's very rare I bother filming wheel spins anymore because I have the worst luck with these. We've got 90,000 credits. Final one. Can we get something exciting? I haven't even seen a Horizon Edition car and the options and stuff going through. Nope. And this is why I don't tend to feel on wheel spins anymore. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I leave you with a very, very snowy Honda. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>